peeps and um, this is Tansy Carella and welcome to my channel today we are going to do a melasma slash hyperpigmentation or a sports curing mask that you can make from that you can make from stuff that you have um, in your kitchen so we have uh, this is, this will be a turmeric mask of course um, we have um, turmeric powder and also tea tree oil to get rid of the germs and yep um, plain yogurt of course and yeah never mind this stuff this is like my free cleanser and this is my double cleanser that i can use to cleanse off the dye of my face so i've already mixed my turmeric um mask oh my god how can i forget that i've already mixed my turmeric mask and it's already mixed i used about half a spoonful of this um, because I have a small face and I don't want to waste my turmeric and I wanted to use one drop of tea tree oil but I managed to use two drops because the other drop just went in I don't know how it just pounced in there like yeah and then I used about two um, spoonfuls of the plain yogurt that I also got from awards and it smells amazing it is delicious and you can also use it to eat so we are gonna begin if I keep looking down, I'm looking at my um, my monitor to actually see what I'm doing because I can't see myself. So right now, I'm going to start with pre-cleansing my face using the Pond Pimple Care Micellar Water. This has been the holy grail to my skin care because like, my skin has been a mess for forever since I started puberty and it has not left me alone and oh my gosh. So I use this every day and I'm almost um, out. So yeah, can I stop saying if that annoys you? I'm so sorry. It also annoys me, but I can't stop saying it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-cleanse my face. Before you touch your face, um, ladies and gents, make sure that your hands are clean, of course, because you don't wanna spread germs onto your face and set back your um, the skin primer so I'm just gonna cleanse my face because I haven't washed it since I'm walking around because I'm gonna wash it I'm gonna that this could be like a great exfoliator so yeah I'm gonna wash it to cleanse off the yellow dye because our uh, turmeric does cause dyeing and this is gonna dye off my nail polish which I should have thought about it before actually but you can use gloves if you want I don't want the latex on my skin because I do have sensitive skin, I think. So, yeah. Now that I'm done, I'm pre cleansing my skin using this micellar water. Mm, smells amazing, boss. Yeah. So, I'm going to start applying my turmeric mask. So right now we're going to start applying the turmeric all over my face and I'm going to use my fingers, key fingers of course, um, so let's start. done applying the turmeric mask all over my face and it's cooling and it's soothing and it smells amazing due to the tea tree oil oh my gosh so i'm gonna wait about uh, 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry then wash it off and then i'm gonna come back and show you how my skin looks and tell you how it feels and also um i'm gonna double cleanse after the turmeric mask to get rid of the yellowish um dyes that's gonna be left on my face and yeah and i'll be using the estee loader crescent white 
um, face wash which is also amazing for um, spots clearing and melasma clearing and so right now I'm double attacking this melasma and yeah see you after um, the moisturize now that um, the mask has dried and I can't speak properly I waited for it to fully dry and it has dried almost um, everywhere so I'm going to cleanse my face and also cleanse the dye out of my face with this um, which is a foam wash from Easter Loader I think I've said that like about a hundred times now so yeah so it has dried and it's not um annoying like um bentonite clay when it dries it's just so if you can see it better yeah and we'll see how my skin feels afterwards um i do use um chimeric occasionally um probably once a week once a month depending on how my skin is and i've been breaking out on my cheeks so i decided to use it um today in order to counteract the breakouts because breakouts comes with spots and spots come with um hyperpigmentation so yeah and white foam wash and um, to get rid of the dye um, caused by the chimeric powder and um, the reason why I do this is because I don't like it on my face and I use the 60 second rule um, to cleanse my face every time I'm using a face wash because that allows the face wash to do what it's supposed to do on your face so I'm going to um, I think I'm going to wash this for about 60 seconds I'm going to massage my face for about 60 seconds and go wash it off and I'll be back um, to show you how um, the turmeric mask has left my skin just now so I'm done cutting off the turmeric um, mask out of my face and I also used the foam wash from Next Order. as you saw it it wasn't for me because I had already started massaging it onto my face because I washed my face for about 60 seconds or more than a minute um, for the products to actually do what it's supposed to do and I've um, lotioned my face with um, olive oil which I use daily morning and night and of course I'm also gonna be using sunscreen um, because I I just use sunscreen every day it is part of my day skincare and to protect my skin and of course if you're using something like turmeric which is um, a skin brightening um, natural it's, it's a skin brightening so anything that brightens your skin you have to protect your skin because it literally weakens your skin so protect it by using sunscreen and not causing more damage to your skin by letting the sun burn you up so right now I have um, my olive oil because I'm not going to be going anywhere when I'm about to go out I'm going to apply my sunscreen that I got from kids and it's great because it's moisturizing and it gives me this natural glow that I really love so thank you for being with me throughout the whole um, turmeric mask tutorial and you guys are just amazing and before you leave please click the subscribe button and also like and share this video if it was helpful and if you think there is somebody who would actually find this video helpful and thank you very much see you next time